Hello there everyone, Citrus Aviation here with another video and today we are starting the daily news videos to keep you up to date with everything that's happening in the aviation industry, particularly in the current difficult times that are happening with the situation. So, we're going to get started here with some news for today and first off we have the news of Lufthansa Airlines temporarily ceasing operation. Now in the Aviation Newsweek video that I released yesterday, there was some confusion over what I was saying. So these airlines are not going out of business, at least most of them, maybe Brussels, but the other airlines are doing just fine. The thing is they are just temporarily suspending or ceasing operations for passenger service and some of these are not occurring right away. Some of these are just taking a little bit. So in those videos I'm talking about the announcement. Not necessarily all their flights have ended right away. So there were some people like, hey, you, you, you got it wrong. But I was like, you know, I didn't make that very clear in the video. And so what I'm trying to say is, for example, here Lufthansa on March the 17th announced they would be ceasing 90% of their flights. Now that's temporary. Most of these are one month suspensions. Most airlines decide to end their flights for about a month. And then they'll see how the situation is then and then decide how to move on. But... Airlines like Lufthansa are always stopping the majority of their flights. Air Baltic has ended the vast, pretty much all their scheduled passenger service. LOT is ramping down their services. They still have a couple 78s that are flying, but most of them are going to be grounded. And there are still going to be some flights that some of these airlines are doing, like Lufthansa has a fairly big cargo operation, so that'll probably be going more often than less because there's a lot of medical supplies and a lot of people just ordering stuff, ordering packages and that kind of thing that they want to see. And I know a lot of you guys uh, noticed that I had forgotten to show the picture of the empty store shelf. So here it is, picture of a local empty store shelf near me. So there you go, right in the video for you all. And so yeah, I just want to make that clarification because I realized what I said in the last video was a little bit confusing, so I hope you guys got that figured out now. Or, well, you understand what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, Lufthansa is going to be doing a one-month suspension, cutting 90% of their flight capacity. And that is yet another airline that is designed to cut operations. This is a pretty big news. On March the 18th, Chicago Midway closed the airport. That was on a Wednesday, March the 18th, Chicago Midway That was on March the 18th, Chicago Midway Airport closed. And this is not the entire airport closing, this is mostly just passenger service closing. So this is a big deal for Southwest Airlines as they have a mega hub there, along with the other airlines that fly in there. Uh, private jet services and cargo services will be continuing, but the commercial part of the airport has closed. Now as far as I know, this is one of the biggest airports in the country or in the world to close so far. So it's a pretty big deal for Southwest Airlines. And there will be other airports that are closing as well. There's an airport in Europe, I don't remember where it was, but I heard that if you go into the airport, you have to go into mandatory quarantine, which is a big deal. So there's that happening, lots of other stuff happening. It just seems like this thing's getting crazier and crazier, and um, I do think it's going to get better. But it'll probably get worse, a little bit worse before it gets better. But you know, just stay tight, eventually everything will work out. Alright, finally, for March the 22nd, Emirates Airlines announced that they would be suspending the vast majority of their services. Now apparently they've been preparing for this for a little while as they've been put into storage some of the 777s. Now they will be suspending pretty much most of their passenger flights. There will still be a couple around as I mentioned. The entire Remember the Emirates isn't going bankrupt. They will be back. They'll just be not pretty much able to take normal passengers flying. They will still be doing cargo operations for Emirates Sky Cargo. There will be still that happening. But for the most part, Emirates Airlines will be ceasing operations temporarily. Temporary suspension. Now you might be wondering, what are some of the other airlines that have announced that they will be ceasing operations for a little while? There are some airlines that I haven't been able to really cover too much because it's not, you know, the biggest names out there. But I'll be just reading off a list here of some airlines. Uh, the biggest one that on the list is Finnair. They've announced they'll be suspending 90% of their operations for a month. Some of the other airlines are Brussels Airlines. This is an airline that is kind of running low on money and so they're kind of in trouble. So they said if they don't survive, if they can't continue 
the flights after about a month or so, they will go bankrupt. So that's kind of a big deal. Another one is Alitalia. They have ceased operations temporarily. In fact, they are currently in bankruptcy proceedings, so they are, are very unlikely to make it out of this situation. There's also Rwanda Air, Luxair, and Austrian Airlines. So those are some names in there you might have heard of. A lot of airlines are kind of just temporarily just taking a wait and see approach. They're going to just have less flights and then kind of see how the climate is about a month from now. So the airline industry is just kind of temporarily taking a shutdown. It's kind of sad, but we will make it through it. Everything will be good eventually. Things will get back to more normalcy hopefully in a few months, something like that. But yeah, thank you for watching this Aviation News Update. Hope you have a great rest of your day and God bless you.